Hi everyone, how's it all going? And today I'm going to be doing something different because I thought I'd do a battle video but instead of just doing a stock combo battle video I thought I'd pick up what used to be definitely my favourite Beyblade, Hell Salamander. So Hell Salamander is a Chosy base who came out about three year ago, 2018. So yeah, actually no, that's four year ago now. Jeez, it's been a long time. Well, Hell Salamander used to be easily one of the best Beyblades you could get. It was one of the best of its time. But unfortunately, it has kind of faded away. And Salamander, other than that one Hasbro evolution, it hasn't had any more inclusion or evolutions in the anime since. So it's one of those Beyblades that was just super cool, but never got touched again. So I've got it here. But instead of just using the stock combo for it, I thought I'd change it up because the stop co the stock combo was super cool and it was fun to use but unfortunately it just wasn't viable so in order to use it I've changed it up a bit instead of going with zero bump I thought I'd go with double O proof people used to always use zero bump but I'm just going to change it up a bit to give to give it better life after death because I thought that would be better look it's worth a try and I'm just going to use a classic atomic. Hopefully this Hell Salamander combo does as well as I hope it does. So I've got the Hell Salamander. This is a different camera setup by the way. So it's my first time using this camera setup. It looks like everything's really close to us, but it's not. It's zooming in on the stadium. I'm currently quite far back. So if the camera angle isn't too great, I think it's decent. But if, it's, if it isn't too great, then I'm sorry about that. But what I do have to battle against the Hell Salamander is 14 new bears ideally i'm only going to do one round against them but if there is mislaunches there's nothing i can really do about that so let's see how this hell salamander combo does against some new modern beyblades let's find out so first round so i'm going to do hell salamander versus storm pegasus storm pegasus it's quite old now but it's still a cool one to use and i thought it'd be an interesting one to go in for for the first round so Let's give it a go, Hell Salamander vs Storm Pegasus. Pegasus is using Reboot so it might get more lively as the battle goes on. Not really much movement at all from Pegasus. Salamander mainly dominating. I say that. So, Hell Salamander with the dub against Pegasus, but it wasn't as comfortable as I would have liked. So, let me just move the stadium. Is that is that better? Let me just. No. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I think that's decent enough. Storm Pegasus done. Now let's move on to Regalia Genesis. Let's see how Regalia Genesis does against Hell Salamander. Starting with the GT base and just slowly moving up. Oh, it, it did click a lot there. It was all the way up to here against Storm Pegasus. So, Salamander, the burst resistance on the base has gotten better over the years. So, quite a bad for Salamander. Galley Genesis, it's going to pile on the pressure. Will Salamander be able to tank it? I think that was a draw, but in a way I kind of think Regalia Genesis just about took it because of the size of its driver. I'm just going to count that as a draw, I think that would be a fair result. But yeah, um, it might have been a Regalia Genesis win, I might have to look at it back, I might have to do a slow-mo, but yeah, Regalia Genesis, solid enough. So, how Salamander versus... Prime Apocalypse. Prime Apocalypse used to be like the main villain in GD, so. Oh, that's it. I'm just... In fact, no, it was. I'm going to remember. Oh, for it. Let me just review that. Prime Apocalypse is one of the most annoying Beyblades to launch, so 
I was quite reluctant to actually try and use it on a video because it just takes time, but I'll give it a go. I'm just going to give that a salamander and move on. Hell salamander with the dub there. The atomic drive is actually coming in handy, but let's see how it does against other stamina types. Um, next up is Imperial Dragon. Let's turn on the electric driver. Salamander versus Imperial Dragon. That was bad match. Imperial Dragon's one of those Beyblades, a bit like Lucifer the End, where you think it's gonna lose, but because the drive is just so big. Hang on, it's scraping. I'm gonna have to give that a Salamander, because Imperial Dragon pretty much stops. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it a Hell Salamander. Hell Salamander with another dub, but Imperial Dragon is just all over the place. Let's move on to Master Diabolo, so I'm gonna use Right Spin, because it's just more practical. Who knows, I might do a separate video on Master Gear Bolo, so I think that might be a good one to do. Salamander with another dub and if I'm going to be honest it hasn't really struggled that much against GT Bays and that only was one generation ago. El Salamander. So let's move on to the Spartan Bays. King Helios. I did change the driver to um, Revolve because my other one was basically Exceed but with plastic so Helios is a stamina type and I don't want it to be using, a, using an attack driver so I thought I'd change it. Didn't launch them as closely as I would have liked, but we'll go with it. Oh, King Helios, just as I thought it was about to sleep out, first Hell Salamander. Damn, first why? King Helios of all Beyblades. King Helios. King Helios is actually very similar to Hell Salamander with the ten blades and stuff. But jeez, first by stamina type. I really fear for Salamander against Super Hyperion now because Hyperion is way harder than Helios. King Helios with the dub there. Super Hyperion. Let's see how it does against Super Hyperion. For the worst for Salamander now. Super Hyperion smashing into Salamander, but it's calmed down a bit. And Salamander just about takes it. Wasn't enough smash attacks from Hyperion, if I'm going to be honest, because I think if it hits more smash attacks in. It might have actually burst El Salamander, so uh, Super Hyperion takes an L. Now let's go on to Brave Valkyrie. Brave Valkyrie, quite a solid day. Could definitely burst Salamander. Maybe didn't launch it as hard as I would have liked, but when I'm trying to do it quickly, I'll give that one to Salamander as well. Hell Salamander, spin finish. The atomic driver is actually coming in handy, and with the proof ring, it's got quite good life after death. So, yeah, Hell Salamander, solid win. Next up is another Beyblade with insane life after death, Lucifer at the end. 
I think it could definitely struggle against Lucifer. Lucifer is a bit like Primal Hot Blood so where it's actually quite hard to... Oh, just burst in my hand, it was that close to bursting. But it's quite hard to launch Lucifer the end, so... Might have issues. Like that can happen quite frequently. With drifts. You know what, I kind of want to do another matchup against Lucifer if that wasn't accurate. It wasn't Salamander that took it out, so we'll do one more and we'll launch, we'll launch it first and we'll launch it lightly. That was a bit too lightly. Quite an interesting one actually, which one will last longer, Salamander or Lucifer? I actually think Lucifer will. Yeah, Lucifer the end. Spin finish. Just It's just got slightly better life, life after death than Salamander with Drift, but not too bad that for Salamander. We'll move on to Dynamite. Belial and I did change the chip from from Dynamite Belial because it wasn't going on the Karatomi launches so I just changed it to the um, chip that came with Cyclone Belial and I think we've got a fairly usable Dynamite Belial here so let's see how it does against Belial. Got a feeling Belial can burst it. It's got the F here on it as well. Belly all ain't hitting hard enough at the moment though. It's quite an interesting one. Belly Al's took the centre. Wouldn't normally do that. Oh well. Salamander's starting to take the centre now though. And Dynamite Belly Al with the spin finish. It's quite interesting that. Attack type outspinning Salamander. That's not too bad if I'm going to be honest, fair play belly out. Let's move on to Cyclone Ragnarok. Cyclone Ragnarok, very good stamina type, good chance it allowed to spin the Salamander. Let's just do Salamander. Let's see if we can spin steel. Ragnarok. It's going to be a nice close stamina battle. And Cyclone Ragnarok takes the dub there. Spin finish against Dynamite, not Dynamite Belly Out, Hell Salamander. It is starting to struggle against some of the better bays now. Now let's put it in there with Astral Spriggan. I'm going to use left rotation, Astral Spriggan. And I'm going to use it with the Metal Ball. I'm going to launch Astral first. It's newer and it's more stable. Salamander. You know what, compared to other Spriggans, like Lord Spriggan when that first came out, Spriggan Requiem, Astral Spriggan isn't all that great. But it does take the dub against Hell Salamander, Astral Spriggan with the dub. So next up, I'm going to use Vanish Fafnir against Hell Salamander. Hell Salamander might actually be Vanish, because stop Vanish against Spring Base is pretty useless, I'm not going to lie. Completely useless, but fairly useless. I launched Salamander way too softly there. I'm gonna redo that. I did launch Salamander a bit too softly. Quite a difficult launcher to use this now. Now let's see who wins. It's 
Static Driver, what's messing up Vanish Vapnir, and how Salamander takes a win. And honestly, if I think, honestly, if I think, okay, I think if I had Drift on here, I think it definitely would beat Salamander. But it's, it's the Kick Driver, what ruins Vapnir against Left Spin Biz. So an L for Vapnir. Now let's put it in there with Guilty Longinus. And my Guilty Longinus actually hasn't broke yet, so what are the chances it's gonna break now? I, I think it will. If it breaks on camera, then fair play, if I remember, we've done it. Pain the launch mode, it, it genuinely is. Oh wow, it's just not launching. I might have to run upstairs and get another launch mode. If Guilty Longinus can land a smash attack, Salamander's done. Or will Salamander be able to tank it? Some big attacks from Guilty Longinus. The Salamander, Guilty Longinus scrapes, and Salamander takes the dub. So Salamander ultimately beats. Um, did it beat Brave Valkyrie? I think it did. It beat Brave Valkyrie, Guilty Longinus, Super Hyperion. It drew with Genesis, um, Master Diabolos, Prime Apocalypse, Fafnir Pegasus, and Imperial Dragon. In fact, did it beat Imperial Dragon? I think, yeah, I think it did beat Imperial Dragon. I'm trying to remember, a lot of these battles were close, and it, it got beat by King Helios, Dynamite Belial, Cyclone Ragnarok, Astral Spriggan, and Lucifer at the end. So, I'd say that, that that was a fairly successful video for, let me actually put them all in frame, um, Hell Salamander, because it didn't do that bad if I'm going to be honest. It beat more beers than it lost to, and a lot of the beers that it beat are levels above it, or generations above it, if you want to put it that way. So yeah, I think that's a fairly successful video for the Salamander combo. Maybe if I launch some of the attack types a bit harder, then we might have had a lot more issues, but I tried my best. So hopefully this is an accurate enough video about the Salamander combo. I hope you enjoyed it anyway, it's just for a bit of fun. I'm not really that good with competitive combos. So if you did enjoy, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for all of the support lately and goodbye. Don't even know why I decided to clap at the end, but bye.